Hello, welcome to another episode of Chaotic Torture RC. Today, I'm going to be doing what I call a Tech Tip Sunday. I'll try to do these from time to time. Last night I ran my Axial Bomber and I rounded out all four hexes inside the stock plastic wheels. Bound to happen. Stock wheels, I didn't care for them. But the tires actually hook up good. So what I'm going to show you all today is the bake off tire method. There are several different ways to do this. A lot of people can they'll boil their tires but some say it ruins their foams. I've seen people use heat guns. I've tried that and I've uh, actually melted rims on different settings or I've seen some people use hair dryers. I tried that one today. That didn't work. I do know the bake off method works because I do it a lot. Um, I have a old toaster oven. I keep it outdoors because not only do I use it to bake off tires, but I also, when I spray paint things after it's uh, getting close to being dry, I'll put it at a low temperature, throw them in there, and bake the paint on for several hours just to help cure and harden it. Only on my metal things, no plastic, of course. And uh, so I'm going to show you what I do. I've got my oven set roughly at about 250 or so. I preheated it. It's rather warm throw my tire in. Just as simple as that. I'll let that go anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. I do this outdoors not just because of when I paint and stuff but due to the odor that the rubber and the glue puts off. Wife and family aren't happy with it when I make the house smell from the hobbies. So I'm gonna stop the video for now while that cooks and bakes and then when I come back and pull it out I will show you how I pull the tire off the uh, rim I will wear a pair of gloves the only gloves I could find today because all my stuff's all boxed up from, still boxed up from the flood cleanup is I have an old pair of winter gloves gloves are gloves I'll wear those when I break the tire off so I'm gonna stop recording now and I'll come back to recording when it's time to pull the tire out Alright, I'm back after about 10-15 minutes in the oven with the tire. Uh, now what you want to do, you can see some of it separating. There will be some places where it still might be stiff. Just pull, you can hear it pop. Don't force nothing. Work it. Right there, and as you look around the bead, you see no glue left no chunks of tire now I come to the back side work it a little bit it's still tight so I gotta flip it around put it back in the oven approximately the same amount of time sometimes a little bit longer on the rear and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll stop this recording for right now and I'll come back and start recording again when I pull it out alright back once again baked it about another 15 minutes or so pulled it out let's see you can see some steam rolling out ah, there we go broke loose there just work your way around once you get it broke loose be careful it will be hot and steamy uh, if your foams were wet when you did it they'll be steamy but as you see nothing left on the rim no glue residue the rim if I wanted to save this rim which I don't that's their excess no that's part of the bead where it's been ground down some from axial if I wanted to save these rims which I don't because they're rounded out I could have saved them now the tires on the other hand like I said I was happy with uh, the tread on them for the train so I'm gonna mount these up to some uh, true bead locks and they'll be good to go there's no damage you can see the glue I'll go through let me take one glove off be careful doing this it's, it does get hot uh, that's just glue residue right there um, I could go back with some acetone if I wanted and scrub it clean, but since I'm going on to some bead locks, it'd be fine. 
tires were not hurt in the process. Uh, heat times, baking times, that will vary depending on your oven and how you're setting things up. So please don't hold me accountable if you bake them too long, bake them at too high of a temperature and you melt your rims. As I know some people have done that, but I have never had rims warp or melt while doing this process and I've been doing it for a long time. Uh, I used to do the boil method. That just got to the, it just got too tedious, would take too long and took too much energy from the oven to do so. So I prefer this method. There's other methods out there that work. Like I said, I tried the hairdryer method this morning and it just did not work. Uh, I tried my heat gun to it and it started to bubble my rim. So I said, nah, I ain't gonna do that. Even though I don't need to save the rims, I didn't want to jeopardize the tires. So anyways, thank you for watching this episode of Chaotic Torture RC. Like I said, this is a Tech Tip Sunday. It's something I'm going to try to do from now on, just to share a little bit of information that I've gained and learned through the years. And I know there's several other videos out there, but sometimes it just helps just to see video from another footage, uh, from another standpoint and angle. Uh, like I said, I'm just using a small convectional oven. I, I do it outdoors. keeps the family happy. Uh, it doesn't stink my house up. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.